What's happening, insiders? It is Mace and Megan, and we are back with another video, one that you guys have actually requested. Yes, it is what, baby? Maddie's. Our, oh, I thought we were gonna say it together. Okay, ready? Right. Yeah, one, I guess. two, three. <laughs> Maddie's, Maddie's official nursery tour. <laughs> Awesome. We didn't even that practice that, but that was good. <laughs> anyway, um, we had this vision way before um she was even thought of. Right. Um, I think before we even got married. Right. I think just in talking about having kids and all the things that come along with it, of course, the nursery came up and we like literally had the same vision. So we are so excited to show it to you. It came to life perfectly. It did around month eight. Of you being pregnant, yes. Um, we officially pulled it together for the most part, and I think it turned out great. We pulled it together. What'd you do in this room? What'd you put together, honey? I did fold her clothes mm -hmm. and get that closet together. Mm -hmm. I did hold the light fixture so you could put it up. Anything else? I washed the clothes, all of them. Okay. All right. Okay. So yes month eight of my pregnancy if y'all follow me on instagram y'all saw every day i pretty much had a project um and so yeah we're excited to show you the finished product we are barb the builder here did a great job and you did a great job too folding the clothes washing and folding the clothes thank you and that closet organized it really well so yeah y'all see come on y'all let's go inside let's go all right y'all welcome to maddie's world All right, guys, so we went with the signage, the world is yours, because truly, we want to teach Maddie that she can do anything she wants to do in the world. Here, we have just her changing pad and a globe that we actually repurposed from downstairs in our foyer area. As you can see, it ties into the color scheme of the room. Then we went with, with a uh, basic all white dresser six drawer dresser this was from delta children um it was like 250. yeah and then megan organized the drawers perfectly good. so i'm big and very meticulous on this folding of her drawer this has most of her zero to three month onesies and bottoms i think that this is probably oh this one is of my Mason's favorite, favorites how do you know yes my siblings have paws yes they do and then oh, I was just I was looking at this one. Oh. This I love him too. What does oh, he say? One of your favorites? Yeah, he's. Let's see. All of them are my favorite. Like I'm a cute baby. Yes. Oh come on, man. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. I know you're gonna fold those later. You too. already know. <laughs> so this has all of her sleepers for night night, completely full, probably from zero to six, nine months maybe. Oh, uh, which one is your favorite, babe? Oh, oh, I think that's both our favorites. Which one? Ooh, yeah. This one, yes. yeah. Definitely. And we actually have the uh, receiving blanket to match. Yes. Love which I this. absolutely love. I love you. Yes, indeed. All right. And this drawer has all of her six to nine month items. All of her onesies and a few of her bottoms. You have a favorite in this drawer? Um, no, sure, what's your favorite? What's you know, I actually you know think mine? these little pants oh, are some yes. of my favorites, right? I love those. Super cute. And probably this one. I like this little onesie. Oh yeah, he's super cute too. Yes, love him. All right, so over here we have her towels, washcloths, and her laundry bags. Got like a hooded towel, Mason's cover from when she's nursing, all that good stuff. This drawer has all of her bibs, burp cloths, and some muslin cloths. Um, she probably has a bib for every outfit in every color. Um, all of her black and white collection, because we have a lot of that and just her classic white bibs. All right, so this drawer is kind of her accessory drawer. She's got her headbands, her mittens, her little hats. Oh, that one's open. Oh, cause he's so full. Mm -hmm. 
and her socks, booties, shades. These are probably oh. some of your favorites. We yes. love Gumi booties. They stay on her feet. Super cute and lightweight. Okay, so right next to the dresser we have, um, I guess her cart, her multi-purpose cart, but it has all her um, daytime diapers, some nighttime diapers, all of her bath stuff, so some Aquaphor, some Cetaphil, some uh, Eucerin, and then we have good old um, coconut oil. Y'all know we had the Vaseline. We wouldn't be black if we had a Vaseline, right? And then this is some um, good diaper balm, Megan found some organic diaper balm that we really, really love. Um, some pads, just in case homegirl want to have an accident on us. And we're using uh, water wipes right now on her, which work really well. Just a box of tissue, extra diapers, more wipes. And then down here, this is stuff for me. So we got a pump, some nursing pads, and then this cool, cool book that Megan's cousin bought us uh, the Wonder Weeks, which uh, kind of gives you a guide on what the baby should be doing on um, each week. And then also uh, some Diaper Genie refills because that Diaper Genie gets put to use all the time. So this is our little travel station. I found this uh, book I was able to personalize, especially for Maddie. It tells us all about the different countries to visit. The next shelf has airplane, camera, and suitcase so we can stay on ready. And we decided to add a pop of greenery to the room just to liven it up some. Mace picked out the planter for it and it's really nice and actually um, a great detail that is used in another part of the nursery. All right, so one of my favorite, uh, I don't know if you can call it a feature, but feature of the room is um, the backyard. So you can see, like, thankfully we don't have any neighbors in the back. So it's just trees for days and days and days. So I love nature, hoping that Maddie does so she can like just stare out the window, look at all the critters that are back there because there's, Lord knows there are plenty. And um, yeah. And then this is her her little reading nook. Reading so we'll nook, probably yeah. add some nice fluffy pillows when she's old enough to sit up here. But uh, we have tons of books, a lot of black literacy that either has black authors or black characters so that she sees herself in her books. Very important for us. Uh, in this drawer, all her toys that either light up or make sounds. Clangas and bangas is okay. what I call them. Not quite old enough for those, but can't wait to pull those out when she's ready. Yes. So this side is mostly our classic books. Uh, your Dr. Seuss, your Sandra Boynton, your Eric Carls. Those books that you we all seen kind of growing up. Yes, Good Night Moon. What's the show my favorite one in here though? Probably this special one that we got. This one, which is from your, was it college my friend? My college friend who lives in Israel. Um, she sent us this book and the entire book is in Hebrew. So it is super dope. Now she's just gonna have to uh, call us and tell us what hey So this is the snuggle area in the room. We decided to go with this comfy glider slash rocker, which is a perfect size for this corner. It's a neutral color, also by Delta's Children's Nursery. Um, we have a nice plush blanket on top, and we really use this area to do circle time, singing, and story time. So the focal point of this room, dun 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 dun, is this wall. Um, this was the vision, like we mentioned, that we had from day one. So as you can see, it's like all the continents, um, is super duper uh, seamless. We had a professional come in. This was probably the most expensive thing I think in this room. So sure. she put up, I think it's like three or four sections, but if you look at it, you are not able to tell at all. So you have obviously the United States and then we got Detroit right there. We got LA right there, ATL. And then we got Birmingham, oh wait. <laughs> Birmingham didn't quite make the cut, guys. Yeah, we're gonna have to draw uh, Birmingham in, but it's all good. But we have like this entire map. Um, again, super duper neutral. So we knew we wanted it, whether it was gonna be a boy or a girl. Um, 
and we are so 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 impressed with how it came out it matched the wall color perfectly you guys helped us with that so thank you and another thing um that i love about this is you can see the crib sits right in front of the continent of africa so when baby wakes up she'll be looking right at the motherland like how amazing is that so this is our Wow, baby, you want to tell them about the uh, crib that you didn't want me to get? Yes, so this <laughs> is Mason's favorite, probably the second most expensive thing in the room. Um, it is a classic white crib from the front, but the side detail is really what she fell in love with. Again, that cross detail. This is by Storkcraft, I do believe. Yes. Um, it is a beautiful, well-made crib that transitions into a toddler bed. Yes, also. you gotta sell this. You sound like you work for them. Okay, you gotta really sell this do. bed, baby. I really do. But we chose all these pieces because this is a room that will grow with Maddie. So, Absolutely. Uh, so next to it, we have her security system. <laughs> okay, as they call it. All right. Uh, it's the Nanit. We love it because uh, we can use it from our phones, and it will check her breathing, her pulse. Mm -hmm. It has a night light on it. Uh, we chose the floor model so it wouldn't interfere with the wall mm -hmm. and the wallpaper. But uh, it's very seamless, kind of stays out of the way. I love it. I think it looks good in here. Yeah, yeah. He's my favorite. All right. And so let's move on up in the room to the lighting fixture, which lighting fixtures are a big deal these days. They make or break a room. We decided to go with something very simple and clean. It's driftwood and a brush nickel. Uh, Mace put this up herself. I just held it and that's all, but she did a beautiful job. She even added a dimmer to it so it can really set the mood in the room. All right, guys. So for the most important part of the room, da -da -da, Maddie's closet. And it is full. Yes, it is. OMG. So up top, we've got things like her extra boppy. We've got our carriers. And of course, we've got some shoes to get us started. Oh, yeah. What we got up here? What's your favorite, right? I would have to say the Uggs and the Jordan 11s. Yes. I'm going to have to go with the Jordan 1s, okay? She was able to get them and we weren't. So okay. I'm low-key jealous. I wish my dick could fit in. So I've got all of her clothes kind of... Uh, spaced out from newborn up to 9 to 12 months for a few items. Nice. I will have to say that her rompers are some of my favorites. Oh, those are super cute. Super are those cute, crotch? colorful. Sure those. You know they are. Is that so? That's your favorite outfit? I think, well, next to this one for the summertime. Oh, right? yes. He's Little super cross cute. Cross back. Yes. So sweet. Um, and I know what your favorite is. Which one? I can go straight to it. Oh, of course. I mean, because it's, it's the truth. It just speaks truth, right? All day long. Super cool. And you know which other one is my favorite? Let me see. Um, oh, you know what? I love this little backpack. I sure a little backpack. Oh, my yes. gosh. Yes. When she's a big girl. What does it say? Dream or something? Dream big. Dream big. I love that. Um, and then this one. This outfit here. Yes, this is for pride, baby. Classic pride outfit. She is pride ready, okay? We are going to the parade in that. Yes, we are. And then, of course, some of our friends had this made for her. Isn't that so it's cute? It's a little unicorn top and bottom. Oh, my gosh. Handmade. Absolutely. Super, super cute. Super sweet. So, so sweet. You want you want to show them what you what you what you bought? Yes, honey. I had to go ahead and get my girl ready for the winter time with her mank. Okay, okay. this for when she go visit Dranny. Okay, okay. In, Detroit, in Detroit when it's when it's cold. Okay. She gonna have to. You won't need this in Bama Sugar, but so so sweet. Yes, love him. And then down oh. here we have um, what is this back here, babe? That's her um. Oh yeah, this is her little soft rub. We lay this on the floor when she wants to do a little tummy time. Take pictures. Yeah, I've probably seen this in pictures. And then we have um, her dirty clothes hamper here. And then uh, back here, we just have her message board. And then um, some extra diapers and some extra wipes and um, some of those accident pads. Right. Okay. 
And then here, you organize this. What's yeah, so this house is all of her swaddles and sleep sacks, which she has not needed any. Any of My girl just sleeps on her own, Praise really, the Lord. with nothing. So um, we've got all of her little soft loveys in here. Um, my mom bought an elephant that's in there. I think you have her first Valentine bear. Some sloths, of course. Oh yeah, my my BF from um, California, Claudia bought her uh, one of those. Sloths. And then right behind all of her stuffed animals, what do we have? It. What is it? We have her go pod, which is good for outside. You can put snacks in it, and she can be a part of the party, but still be contained. And then this is a, a wooden play gym um, from my friend Chanel. We can't wait to get her in that. It matches the room perfectly, so we can't wait to put it out so she can play with that. So these six drawers are pretty much organized by Mace. So we'll see what we got. We've got her extra diapers here for easy access. Here we have some of her extra wipes. Those wipes heavy. <laughs> they really are. And here we have a lot of her necessities like her oral gel, saline spray, Milicon. Yeah, so um, Milicon is a lifesaver. It really is. Look, y'all, Megan bought her, what is this, electric nail, nail file. file? Yeah, because you know those clippers can get kind of dangerous. What? Danger, girl, come on. <laughs> uh, here we have some of her toiletry items, I'm going to say. So some of her creams, her paste, lotions, shampoos, all that good stuff. So this drawer houses some of her receiving blankets. Her uh, soft cuddly thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks for her car seat. Yes, the homie from um, Detroit bought her that. The blanket, we appreciate you G. And then this is L the elephant, right? Yes it is. Love him. And in the bottom I think it's more of a miscellaneous type drawer. Yeah, we have the um, air purifier, some extra bags for on the go, and then all of my breast pump um, cleaning supplies and extra storage bags. So, yes, this is Madison's closet. Can you believe it? Cannot believe it. Oh my goodness. Oh my All right, guys, so here's one last pan of Madison's room. All right, insiders, we hope you enjoy our nursery tour. If you have any questions, drop it in the comments below, um, and we will be more than happy to give that information to you. And before we go, look who just popped in. She said, y'all, I can't see my room without me being in it. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi, and thank you so much for coming. Say thank you for watching and rocking with us. And say we love you. We love you. Thank you, insiders. We will catch y'all on the next video later bye oh god bye y'all